Hey what's up, this is Trey from Top of Tech and I just want to show you quickly how to set up the PS4 Remote Play for your Mac or your PC. Now if you're one of the few who bought the PlayStation TV, this does the exact same thing except you don't have to use your TV monitor now, it uses the internet and the screen off of your laptop or desktop, be it Mac or PC. First things first, you're going to download the exact operating system that you need, be it Mac or PC. They act the exact same way, and I'll show you how they both sample uh, here at the end. And, but once you go through the download setup process, it's super fast because it's a small file. Once it's done downloading, you want to find the application called PS4 Remote Play. Again, I love how simple Sony set this up, but I thought I'd make a video so you can not feel as intimidated on setting this up yourself. Log into your PlayStation Network using your ID, and that's it. Now, looking at your PlayStation 4, just a couple of things. One, make sure you are connected to a wired connection. Next, let's do a couple of tweaks just to make sure this runs smoothly. Go to your settings and then look for Remote Play Connection Settings. You want to make sure these two boxes are checked on. Next, you want to scroll down to Power Safe Settings. This way you can power on and power off your PlayStation when you're away from home. That way you don't have to worry about it leaving it on or not able to connect because it's not powered on. Just make sure these are all checked on and that's it. You're all done. You don't have to have a super powerful computer, but you do have to have really fast internet. Here I'm showing you it on my MacBook Pro. This is a 2014 model, but again, the, the specs of your computer don't really matter because it's streaming it over the internet. When the PlayStation Remote application is open, you simply plug up the PS4 controller to your computer through USB and you're set. Like There's no extra things that you have to download to make it work. It's configured just fine. It's responsive just like you were sitting in front of your TV. So there's no lag. You don't have to worry about any of that. Now you can kind of tell that the picture quality isn't full HD, it's 720p which still is okay, but it's not as sharp as if you were looking at it on your TV and I can really tell uh, just streaming wise. Here's a quick look at it on a PC and again it doesn't matter what your specs are of your computer, you just have to have the newest operating system such as Windows 10, that also works for 8.1 and then for Mac it works for 10.3. 10 and 10.11. It's majorly dependent on the network speeds on both ends, where you're using your computer at and what your PS4 is connected to. But that's going to be it guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below. Go ahead and hit that like button if you found this useful. But as always, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and I will see you next time. It does, however, make you watch a short video that does give you a couple of tips of what Alexa can do on the Echo Dot. 